technology, the knowledge of computers, devices, and how all things work together to enhance the lives of our human species, and which we have all noticed has been affecting our lives in ways that are more personal than ever. Specifically, I am referring to technology and mobile computing, from the growing landscape of number of smartphones, tablets, laptops, touchscreen, desktops, wearable tech, cloud computing, health trackers, and the like, internet of connecting things in the household. There is no denying that this industry is booming in ways that no one would have ever predicted when they were talking on their Nokia brick folks just 15 years ago playing the retro classic game Snake. Today in this video I want to discuss with you all the predictions on the top 5 technologies that will rule the year of 2016. This is such an exciting time to be alive on planet earth, enjoy. Wearable technology is arguably one of the most personal gadgets you will ever own and this is proven by the fact that it is connected to you individually. From Android Wear, to heart rate monitors, to Google Glass, to the upcoming Microsoft HoloLens, to other smaller OEMs such as Pebble or proprietary wearable makers, this is a technology that will be ruling 2016 as the Apple Watch has basically now mainstreamed this technology. So for 2016, the first technology that we should all expect to learn about and implement into our lives going forward, if we're at all interested in modern connected living, is wearable technology. It's only in its infancy though. For the second technology on the list that will likely be hot in 2016 will be screen technology. Already we are seeing devices such as the Samsung Galaxy Edge devices with slight curvatures in devices such as the LG G4 and we have seen curved glass in older devices like the Samsung Galaxy Nexus all hinting that going forward is screen tech. Samsung has showed off foldable displays and rumors are suggesting that we will see foldable displays coming in the first quarter of 2016 although this is just a rumor. This technology is very, very early in production, and you could say it is in its beta stages right now. Also, look out for mirroring screen tech, which essentially puts any projected screen to the mirror surface, making for an enjoyable, larger viewing experience. So that's the second technology on the list, screen tech. The third technology is on my list of technology that will be changing the way we use technology is the Internet of Things. Now currently in 2015, this trend has already begun and is not new per se, however, it is a market that hasn't quite caught on to the main mainstream consumers and culture in the way that it will in 2016. Internet of Things is basically everything connected and used through your internet connections. Examples of this would be like lights in your room of your apartments or using house applications such as garages and stoves, appliances, starting your car, Amazon Echo, medical devices, tablets, smartphones, just pretty much all devices connected through the internet. Essentially your whole life being connected. I'm not sure how everyone will feel about this, but this is already and will be continuing to happen. The fourth technology to make this exciting list is the advancement of LTE or long-term evolution data, aka to those of you who don't want to speak specifics, 4G LTE. It's going to be getting an upgrade. It's going to be called LTEA, which we have already seen in some phones, equipped and it is ready to support this technology for when it is more widespread. However, let's not be surprised if this faster data is marketed as 5G for easy to understand purposes. Additionally, Wi-Fi speed upgrades are expected in 2016 for the already introduced Wi-Fi AC, which offers theoretically up to 10 gigabytes per second, is expected to become more widespread to many more devices. With the latest flagships offering this tech already, just expect the industry to follow this Wi-Fi AC in 2016. The fifth and final technology to make the list for the year of 2016 is USB Type C. Basically, this is a reversible USB port that should make it easier for you to transfer your file, charge your devices, and it should offer greater transfer speeds while being more efficient. This technology is already available on phones like the OnePlus 2 that was recently announced, but other devices should be seeing this technology in the upcoming quarters in 2016. There are rumors that the iPhone 7 will announce this feature as well. However, after Apple's media frenzy after changing their famous 30 pin connector to the lightning port which was reversible. I personally don't see this happening for Apple next year. However, expect this USB Type-C technology in the upcoming Android tablets and phones, Windows devices, PCs and Mac computers, and the rest of the industry should shortly after follow this trend. 
So there you have it. In this video to recap, we talked about the 2016 technologies that are likely to become mainstream. We started off by talking about wearables, the most personal technology that one can use as it is connected to your body. Following that, we talked about screen technology and how the foldable screen will become a reality in the coming months. Following that, we talked about the Internet of Things, household stoves, microwaves, and the such will all become connected to the Internet. We talked about LTE Wi-Fi advancements and concluded the list with USB Type-C making a more universal port for everyone and all their connected devices. This ever-expanding industry is just continuing to grow and there is no stopping the incredible pace and why would there be? As our world continues to advance, we can all begin to live more connected lives and move toward all our specific goals and dreams in ways unfathomable just a decade ago. What's up guys, this is Nick here. I hope you enjoyed this video on the five technologies of 2016 that should dominate and rule the market of next year. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below as it lets me know that you really enjoyed the hard work that I put into this video. And subscribe for more videos like this. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.